All right, a kettlebell swing is at the foundation of so many of our other kettlebell movements. A better kettlebell swing will make for a better clean, a better snatch. It'll also make for a better athlete because kettlebell swings teach proper and powerful hip extension. We use hip extension with so many of our athletic movements. When we're running, when we're jumping, when we're tackling, when we're fighting, when we're throwing, hip extension is where it's at. But there are some details that make for an excellent kettlebell swing. So let's talk about it. First thing, our approach, all right? We wanna be real meticulous here with our setup. So I like to be a foot behind the kettlebell when I set up for my swing. Notice my feet are wide, they're wider than shoulder width, and my toes are pointed slightly out. Now the first thing you're gonna do is make sure you've got a good hinge setup. So I like to drive my hips back with my hands here and just rock down into this solid hinge pattern. Now notice my spine doesn't change. My spine is neutral, I don't really love that term, but you know what I mean. I'm not flexed, I'm not hyper extended, right? You don't need to set up like this. We're just tipping down, keeping that chin tucked, feeling those hammies load up, that rear chain load up in a solid hinge pattern. Now notice if my arms are straight here, I'm not quite at the kettlebell. So all I'm gonna do is bend until I can get a good grip on that kettlebell. So a little bit of squat here. Remember swing is kind of a hybrid between a hinge and a squat. A hinge in, I'm straight. Squatting down enough till we get a good grip on that kettlebell. Now, once you grip the kettlebell, you want to create some tension in your upper body. In order to do that, I like to think about breaking the kettlebell in half. So literally snapping the handle. This does two things. One, it helps pack our shoulders. So it brings our shoulders down and away from our ears. It also lights up those lats, gets those lats firing. So again, we're approaching the kettlebell, feet wide, toes out, hinging down, straight arms, Slight bend, good grip, rolling, packing, all right? Notice my elbows kind of face forward there, creating some tension in my upper body, and just barely leaning back so the front edge of that kettlebell is off the ground. This is my start position. That's my setup. From there, I'm ready to start swinging. First, we're gonna practice a hike pass. A hike pass is just the initial backswing, right up into your crotch, right back down on the ground. You can imagine a center hiking a ball. It's exactly what we're doing. We're hiking the ball and then we're putting it right back on the ground. Every time you approach the kettlebell, I want you to go through that checklist. Feet wide, toes out, hips, hands, a little squat, tension in the upper body, a little bit of lean. Now we're gonna lift this kettlebell off the ground. We're gonna take it up into our crotch and I'm gonna put it right back on the ground. Looks like this. We're practicing that initial backswing and we're putting the kettlebell right back where it was. From there, you're ready to start practicing dead stop swings. Set up, one single swing, and then we're putting the kettlebell back on the ground. Looks like this, feet wide, toes out, engine, addressing the kettlebell, creating tension. dead stop kettlebell swings. Remember to set up every time just to get comfortable with that checklist. Once you've got a single dead stop kettlebell swing, you can take it to a double. And two swings, set it on the ground. Once you're comfortable with twos, you can take it to threes. Once you're comfortable with threes, you can start to practice non-stop kettlebell swings for time, for reps, or you can add them into your flows or your more complex movements. Double arm kettlebell swing, so key to the rest of our kettlebell work. Also key to being an athlete. Give it a shot, let me know how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe and all that jazz. I'll see you soon.